Yer, what's going on, everybody? It's our podcast, King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. Now, before we get into that broke nigga pack opening episode four, the current thumbnail that you guys are looking at is actual gameplay from my my team Road to the Playoffs episode two C five. It's featured over on Game Face Studio. So if you click on the annotation on this screen, it'll take you right over there. It will not close this window. Also, at the end of the video, if you just want to watch this uh, pack opening all the way through, Siri will tell you guys all about it. But uh, I guess you guys can see that I had like a nice little two-day, you know, hiatus from Twitter, YouTube, all of that. You know, I was updating people, you know, here and there. But uh, I just had a new baby. Uh, it's a girl. <laughs> her name is Deja Christina Carter. And oh, man. Her seven pound, eleven ounce behind is <laughs> she feisty. That's 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 what I will say. She's definitely feisty. But I'm happy to be a, a newfound parent again. My son is just taking in the role as a big brother, and I'm loving it. And uh, me and my lady couldn't be even more happier, man. So uh, I just want to thank you guys for all your support. I know that we're closing in on 150k. I may do something for that. Um, I know I missed my 800th video or something like that. I don't know. I, I've been very busy, man. It's, it's hectic. Um, my girl let me out of the hospital for a few hours, so that's why I'm actually uploading this video. So, you know, um, go ahead. Watch this broke nigga pack opening. I'm done. You know, and also, don't forget to watch that video over on Game Face Studios. You know what I'm saying? Annotation at the end of the video as well. Or you can check the description. But I'm out of here, y'all. See y'all later. Peace. Yo, what's going on everybody? South Park King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. And I want to welcome you guys to episode 4 of Broke Nigga Pack Openings. I got 36,000 VC to work with and we are going to open up all, all go everything. Before I hop into this Broke Nigga Pack Opening, of course, I just want to shed a little bit of light on that I am currently in the 5th seed in the road to the playoffs. I have only been playing my team for probably about a week to two weeks now. Ever since I posted a, a pack opening with some gameplay, that's when I started playing. Other than that, I haven't ever played my team before. It's not that it seems a little too easy to get to these lower seeds, but I need I need more of a challenge, you know. When when I finish off uh rounds, I probably play a total of like six to seven games. You feel me? And it takes like what? And I think in the six seed, it took you six games to move on. I think I played seven because I lost one. But uh, I've been playing all times of the night. It's been it's been wild. I'm not even gonna lie. I've actually taken a liking to my team. Playing with a team, you know, customly built for you with jerseys and arenas and stuff like that. This is something that I wanted in my crew, and I feel as though that my team. It's going to get me through that bridge in the summer until NBA 2K14 comes out. But I'm telling you, if 2K14 don't got my crew, it's going to be an uproar. But uh, let's hop into this pack opening. Oh, a um, couple things I want to tell y'all. Um, Mario Chalmers is gone. I sold him back. I didn't like him. I currently do not have a backup point guard. So, you know, hopefully in this pack opening, I get a backup point or something like that. But if I don't, then of course, you know, I'll leave it up to you guys on who I should get next. Um, another thing, 2K Sports, NBA 2K13, whatever, whoever you want to title it, has released all the injured players back into the lineup. So you can buy um, Derek Rose and, you know, people of that nature, anybody who was injured in the regular season. So uh, let's hop into this pack opening. All right, boosters. <laughs> All right, first things first, got to open up a gold pack. Ah, let's see who we have here. Come on, give me something good. All right, they gave me... This, this is what it's going to be like. Oh, I got a jersey, though. All right, Byron Scott, that's... Uh. Um, uh, One little thing in my last pack opening, you guys was like, yo, Apa, how you didn't get hype for Terry Porter, but you got hype for Mike Dunleavy? <laughs> Man, to tell you the truth, I was so tired when I did that pack opening. It was probably like 1, 2 in the morning. And, you know, my eyes don't work very well sometimes when I'm very tired. So, you know, that's the only reason. Otherwise, I've been real hyped. You know, ever since I got Terry Porter, we've had a very good core starting five. And I like Terry Porter a lot. He can shoot. Um, he's good on the drive and things like that. So, yeah, I like him a lot. But um, I'm just hoping for, you know, a good shooting guard, uh, Greg Popovich again. Um, Like with me, when I open up packs, 
I'm not necessarily looking for like a certain position, but at the same time, I'm looking for them well-known guys. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking for MJ. I'm looking for David Robinson. I'm looking for Will Chamberlain. Like I'm looking for the people that we all know, you know what I'm saying, have come to love. You know, when you think of a legend in a pack opening, you're like, oh, like, you know, I just got Sidney Green. I'm, I'm not hype. You know, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. But, you know, whenever I get a player, it's like, ah, you know what I'm saying? I welcome them, but... At the same time, when you get a legend in this joint, you can only sell him back for 500 whether he be bronze, silver, or gold. So it's like, ah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, dang, what, 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 what can I really do with this guy? Like, this dude got awesome stats, awesome attributes, but he only worth 500 VC and I don't need him? Darn. You know what I'm saying? That's the way I feel about it. But it uh, looks like I got another Nuggets jersey. Got to sell that back. Um, but yeah, man, um, as it goes for point guards, I couldn't do it, man. Mario Chalmers, uh, his jump shot is hideous. Like some people love it. Some people, you know, take heed, heed to it, but I don't like with me. I even went out and got Nate Robinson after a couple people said, yo, grab Nate, grab Nate. His jump shot is just as bad. You know, I don't want one of them jump shots where it got to wind up, you know, after the flick of the wrist. Like I don't. I don't, I don't need that, you know what I'm saying? I need something real easy, real real, real cool, you know. Um, a lot of people wanted me to buy a gold point guard as a backup, and I'm like, bro, they like 20,000 VC for a gold backup point guard. So I'm like, why waste 20,000 VC and, you know, be like, oh, am I going to put Terry Porter on backup? Or am I going to, you know, like say I get D-Rose. How many of y'all really going to start Terry Porter over D. Rose? Let's keep it a bean. Like, how many of y'all would really do that? None of you. So, it's like, why would I want to grab a gold guy, you know, and, and do it that way? But at the same time, it's like, I'm going to need an awesome team soon. Like, right now, I'm winning from sheer just being good at the game. You know, I'm not winning, like, by, oh, I got a bomb squad and I'm, I'm bombing on you. No, that's that's not what I'm doing. I'm winning with defense. I'm winning with good offensive sets. I'm getting into the paint, you know, pump faking when needed. You know, not that up and under cheese. I'm talking about pump faking them, you know, for a mid-range and then going and dunking on somebody's head. That's what I've been doing lately. And um, another thing, the three-point shot. Oh, man, I'm like one of the worst three-point shooters out here. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. Like, when it comes to shooting threes, I don't know what it is, man. It seems like I can't get certain guys' jump shots down. Like, I'll play the All-Star Challenge, you know what I'm saying, to get my VC, play up against a stacked team, and, you know, shoot threes the whole game. Like, so it's like I'm trying to get the three-pointers right. I'm coming off screens, all of that. But ain't nothing working, you know. But, you know, it is what it is. Man, maybe maybe I'll get it, you know, after a while, or maybe I need to play on a different, you know, setting. Cause I think I'm using my Xbox for Wi-Fi. Maybe I need to hook it up to the Ethernet, get the full, you know, uh, <laughs> the full gist of, you know, my internet uses. Maybe I'm lagging a little bit. I don't know. But you know, the jump shots, mm, not working too much. Just got Don Nelson, bronze player. I did get the highlight film though. I'm, I like that I get these goal attributes and um, upgrades and signature skills because even though my players ain't beast, I can still, you know, put some signature skills on them and, you know what I'm saying, make it work for me. So, uh, oh, I got Doug Collins. I'll, I'll keep Doug Collins and uh, hopefully, oh, and I just got a classic Sixers away jersey. I, I want a Sixers um, home jersey and uh, the Sixers playbook and the Sixers arena. Once I get that, then I'll be playing, you know, in Philly all the time. Like, it won't matter, like, what my coach, you know, attributes are and all of that, goal coaches and stuff. Because um, I was playing as a spur for a while, and then I figured out that I had the Heat Christmas um, home jersey, and I had the Heat Arena. So, you know, I use that now. You know, everybody loved the, that, that Heat Christmas jersey, boy, I tell you. <laughs> they love it to death. But um, I'm coming down to that 14K. Is ain't looking too good, and my pack is freezing. By the way, hopefully I get a no. They just gave me a jersey. Uh, I got the Stable Center, you know, Clippers though, but it's all good. My uh, Bucks home jersey, not bad, not bad. 
Um, that oh, that Nuggets alternate look crazy though. That <laughs> yo, my jersey collection is gonna be like one of the top jersey collections on this joint. All right, Kevin Lynch. Like I promise y'all, when it come to my my jersey collection, I'm gonna be that bull. Like I don't like maybe one day I'll do a pack opening of all like just all booster for jersey packs. Like if I do that, I'm, I'm gonna be shitting on a couple of people. I'm just keeping it real. You know what I'm saying? Just opening up a whole bunch of jerseys, just saying what I can get. But yeah, man, go booster. Uh, we down to eleven thousand VC. I'm feeling broke right now. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't think I really got any players for this. It is what it is. I'll just try to play like another year of my career, my point guard. Keep playing online. Um, another big thing is a lot of people say, "Yo, why don't you do a pack opening like every day or every other day?" It's because I'm trying my hardest not to do the VC glitch. Like, it's, it's taking all, I mean, all my strength. Like, uh, the homies over at Game Face Studios, we was all in a, in a, a Skype chat. And somebody had linked us to a Shake and Bake uh, video where he did the glitch and all of that. And he teaches you how to do it. I was like, yo, keep the devil away, man. Like, keep it away. Keep my eyes away from it. Like, I don't even want to know half of the link. Because if I find it out, it's over. So, I'm, I'm trying my best. Oh, I got the Heat coach. Yes. I got Eric Spolster. Now, me playing in uh, Miami is definitely going to be a big thing now that I got the coach. But, yeah, man, it's like, oh, uh, man, I'm I'm trying so hard not to do it. But it's like so many people do it, and, and they make it seem like it's cool. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? I didn't want to, you know, start doing it, then seem like an outcast. Or, you know, people say, oh, man, he just VC glitching. He ain't really putting in no work. You know, I try to play the game. Like, if you if you go on my, uh, what is that thing called? I think it's called a Raptor or a Rapture or whatever, whatever that website is. Like you can check out my game in time, you know, my, uh, you know, how much time I done clocked and all that. So, you know, I put a lot of time into the game, you know, and it has its rewards. But uh, we down to 5,000 VC. Oh, man. And I ain't really get no, uh, no, go I ain't get a gold player yet, I think. Did I? No? I think I got a silver and two bronze. But it's all good. You know, once I sell them back, I probably uh, you know, get something good. But um, my main thing when it comes to players, um, I'm looking for, hmm, how should I say? I think I'm looking for either a shooting guard or a power forward. So right as of right now, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a shooting guard and a power forward because I like Terry Porter. I'll just grab like a a, a low um, silver player as a backup. Like I don't need two golds, you know, one on, one on the starting and one on the bench. Like if it was that deep, I'll get five gold starters and five. And, I mean, and all the rest silver, uh, you know, guys to come off the bench, but. I don't I don't need two gold people, you know, one to compliment the other. Like that's just that's just ODing right there, you know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people do it, a lot of people want the best of the best. But maybe if if it takes me a while to get through the fifth seed, like if I see a whole bunch of uh Chris Paul, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, Blake Griffin, Dwight Howard, if I see that a lot, then I'll be like, all right, well, maybe it's time for me to upgrade my team and I'll save up on as much VC as I can and try to get that. But um, it looks like I need to sell something. All right, I can sell that for 90. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get another pack for y'all real quick. Let's see, let me go on my collection. Right, let's go. That's gonna take too long. How about we do this? Coaches. There we go. Never gonna use him. Doug Collins, I'm gonna use you. Monty! Never gonna use you, I'm sorry. Scott Skiles, I'm sorry, I'm never gonna use you. And that should be enough for a gold pack right here. Um, Now, before we get into this last pack, I see I still got a little bit of time. We ain't hit the 15 minute mark yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in uh, my actual team and how I do things. 
Um, I got Terry Porter starting. Like this is this is my official team. Like you know, in that last pack opening, I was just putting guys in hoping that I could get some type of you know some voodoo or some 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 you know what I'm saying like something that can help me. Uh, Terrence Ross at that uh, starting. Uh, then I got Gerald Green. Now this is this is one thing that a lot of people have been killing me. They've been saying why not start Jerome Kersey? Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. All right. Now, check this out. My man got an 81 three-pointer, right? And a 90 dunk, right? 81 three-pointer, 90 dunk. Hold on. We're we not done. We're not done. And he got a 92 speed, right? Now, Jerome Kersey, I love you. But look at his three-point shot. He only got a 63-point shot. Okay, he has a 97 dunk. That's, that's all well and dandy. But dunking ain't all that I need. I need more than that. You know what I'm saying? Speed 76. Tell me right now who the better player is. Keep it all the way real with me, y'all. And my man has a 68 shot medium. Who pulling up for a jump shot with him? I'm just, I'm keeping it all the way real with y'all. My man, Gerald Green, he got an 82 medium jump shot. This dude, when people say, yo, why you ain't got LeBron James? Yo, Gerald Green with posterizer and closer? If that ain't a light-skinned LeBron James, then I don't know what it is. This this player right here is absolute just, yo, this dude is like God in, in, in a mask. Like, he, I don't know what it is about him, but he just he just do he do his thing. Now, um, I know a lot of people won't kill me for this, but uh, I got Thomas Robinson and Rodney Rogers, right? Now, what I do is I start Thomas Robinson for the rebounding, right? Now, this, this this is only why. I start him for the rebounding. Then, instead of um, starting DeAndre Jordan, I end up starting JaVale McGee sometimes because of the finisher and bruiser. But that's only if I don't, like, if I want to pay his salary. Like, his salary is OD. So, you know, sometimes I go with DeAndre Jordan and with the lockdown defender. Now, in this case, if I really seriously wanted to, you know, go into my team and play the fifth seed, I would start DeAndre Jordan because now I'm in a higher seed. I need somebody with a better IQ, you know, and with better defensive awareness because JaVel McGee, you guys to admit, sometimes he does some outrageous things on that floor. So, uh, um, oh, let me go back in. Now, for the bench, my sixth man is going to have to be, hmm. Let's see. I'm going to have to go with Wesley Johnson. Now, remember, I don't have a point guard yet. I don't have a backup point guard anymore, right? Now, uh, my next guy is Travis Outlaw. Now, he has that lockdown defender. This is for those shooting guards out there that love shooting them three-point shots. I put in Travis Outlaw at the two. Now, for the three, I got Jerome Kersey. He, he in the building. He here. And uh, in fourth, I got my man Rodney Rogers. Now, the little thing about Rodney Rogers is he's a great shooter, and he's witty in the paint. Like he can dunk on a couple people, so that's why I have him come in. So when our bench comes in, the scoring doesn't stop. Mm -mm, nah, not at all. The scoring does not stop. Now at bench five, I have Javel McGee. He comes in. He's still able to grab boards and stuff like that. And another thing. If I don't want the first quarter and fourth quarter possession, I don't start JaVale McGee. That's another reason I don't start him because with him, I can win a lot of tip-offs as well. Um, now, bench six. This is where it all gets crazy, right? My my uh, bench six is going to be Chuck Persons. Now, he's a small forward, comes off the bench, and he's a, he's a great shooter. Like, I mean, straight up down, like, yo, he can shoot the lights out. Now, for bench seven, the reason why I have these guys left are because they are people that, you know, I just acquired. Now, the funny thing is when I had Nate Robinson, I had Chuck Persons at the person at the uh, the bench seven. So uh, let me just pick one of these guys. It's going to have to be Johnny Newman. Now, um, he has a 72 three-point shot, 82 medium. He has a 73 dunk. And he has a 75 speed. So, you know, even though he won't be getting that much tick, you know, he's still needed. So, uh, that's what I'm going to do with him. Now, uh, let's go. Oh, also, 
Darn, I almost forgot. My team drink. Uh, Christmas jersey. Uh, classic away alternate four. Um, I can edit the coach now and replace him from the collection with Eric Spolstra to get that whole heat feel. And got the arena. And the funny thing, I got the Celtics playbook. I know a lot of people like, the Celtics playbook? What the hell is he thinking? But, uh, yeah, man, I don't, I don't really have any any great playbooks. You know, I got the Bulls playbook, but um, I'm going to go with the Knicks playbook, seeing as though they like, you know, um, the isolations, the shooting, the three-point shots, stuff like that. And uh, let me see if it, I got any, any new jerseys that's that's dope. Um, okay, I got the Nuggets. Got that Nuggets. I got the Brooklyn drink. You know what I'm saying? That went, that, that, I wouldn't mind wearing that. What we got here? Sixers, Hawks, Kings, Raptors. All right. Just because I love my team, I'm going to go with the Sixers. That's what I'm going to do right there. But uh, let's back out, get into the last pack opening. Oh, we are closing in on 20 minutes. Ooh, I'm so sorry. Um, But, yeah, man, shooting guard or power forward is the people that I really want. I'm not even going to lie. Like, I really want a shooting guard and a power forward to compliment because Terry Terrence Ross and, you know, um, Thomas Robinson and Rodney Rogers, they're cool, but you know, sometimes they, they don't go, they don't, they don't, they don't do it for me all the time. So, you know, maybe I need to pick some, pick up a different guy. So what I'm going to do is, um, go inside the description, click on the link. And, um, I'm basically just going to show you a few players that, uh, I do got my eye on and, uh, just choose, Choose two players. Uh, it's going to be shooting guard and uh, power forward. So should I get James Harden, Kobe Bryant, Paul George, Andre Iguodala, Monte Ellis, Manu Ginobili, Vince, D. Wade, my boy Reek Evans from Chester, Rodney Stuckey, Joe Johnson. And I think we're going to stop there with the shooting guards. And then the next link Let's go power forward on them. Zach Randolph, LaMarcus Aldridge, my boy Thad, you know what I'm saying? Kevin Garnett, Anthony Davis, Kevin Love, Paul Gasol, David West, Josh Smith, Carlos Boozer, Tristan Thompson, Dirk. Now, this is the funny thing. It, it, it sucks that he is all the way down here, but Blake Griffin, what about Blake? Blake is pretty cheap. Blake is pretty cheap. So, uh, you know, just leave it in the comment section. I'll have a few guys inside the, each link that you can choose and vote on pollcode.com. But uh, this pack opening is over. And uh, I guess it's time for me to play a couple fifth seed teams. But this is IKC signing out. I want to thank you guys for watching. Peace. Year, this is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode, click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC, click subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.